Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm taking with me as a meal prep. So meal prepping has saved my life as a uni student. Bit dramatic. When, you know, I rarely have that much money at all. Kitchens are just like permanently sticky. I don't really have the patience to deal with like 10,000 Tupperware at once. And it doesn't help that our fridges tend to be like half a meter squared. This is for three people. So I'm super excited for this video. You will see that I'm not a great cook. The fact that like half the memes my boyfriend tags me and have to do with like burning food is an indication that if I can do it, you can too. If you do like this video, please leave it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I don't know if I have to say that, I just hear all the YouTubers say it, so I'm gonna add it in. Let's get started. So first things first, what you're gonna need, Tupperware, I'll go get mine quickly. Oh, Jesus. I have two little ones and two big ones. I'll explain why in a bit. Then in addition to that, you need a hob and an oven. The only other things that I really use are a pan, a deep pot and like an oven based tray thingy and I have this like huge oven glass thing and I have no idea where it went okay either way it was beautiful I loved it I'm kind of sad now moving on the things that I always have in my cupboard are my staple items so it's a little bit messy but who cares so staple items are like the things that are gonna last you forever and ever <laughs> i'm kidding they last you a long time and they're very useful poof just kidding i took all of it from the cupboard out onto here so for spices salt hot paprika ground cumin it's almost done in italian <laughs> italian herbs and uh garlic granules also there's this delicious that is not it the garlic salt is super good it literally makes everything taste delicious so that's for my spices next up canned goods like bread split lentils whole grain microwave rice ain't nobody got time to make rice black beans cannellini beans butter beans green lentil beans more black beans all kinds of beans there's no such thing as lentil beans i just wanted to keep the trend going that was a long list. That's really nice cheap stuff that you can just always have in your cupboard. It will last you ages and you can put into a recipe at any given point. Next up is what I'm actually cooking this week. And my method is that I cook on Sundays and Wednesdays. So Sunday I cook enough for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then Wednesday night I cook enough for the rest of the week. Because on the weekends we tend to just like, you know, go out to lunch, do stuff, and I cook four meals worth of each kind of recipe because then you have eight meals that you can distribute throughout the three days. So many numbers, this isn't math. So apart from having my staple items, I'm now gonna need all the stuff that I like replenish and I buy all of it on Sunday. So I decide, hmm, what am I having for breakfast? I always have overnight oats. There is no surprise there. I just had to build up the suspense. And what am I having for lunch for the next three days and three days? And what am I having for dinner for the next three days and three days? So I don't actually follow a recipe book or anything like that. I just kind of think of like, mm, what am I feeling? You know, like for lunch, I'm going to have some kind of chickpea curry. And for dinner, salmon, sweet potato, and veg. That's like maple glazed and honey glazed. So fancy. I literally just squirt that shit on there. What? Okay, so the way that I divide my shopping list, I just put a shite ton of veggie. Like, bomb those veggies in then i've got carbs fats like uh, pesto coconut milk peanut butter olive oil all that good deliciousness and then i've also got my protein which i do have some here already the beans also in case i want maybe chicken salmon eggs and also a little bit of dairy or dairy alternatives for like breakfasty things okay so i'm gonna go do my shopping now i will bring you along with me you can shop online but i get serious joy out of going to buy food like it's the best part of my week, apart from being with humans and people I like. Anyway, 
something that took me three years to find out. If you find any like farmers markets or like little markets around your town or area or uni, one was in front of my house, okay? It's so cheap, the fruit and veg. You're gonna see in this haul that I'm doing. Also, the guys that work there are really nice. They give me like more compliments than I've ever received in my life. They call you like, darling and yeah, lovely. I'm like, ooh, keep talking. <laughs> Stand around a little bit longer, you know what I'm saying? Okay. I'm gonna go put some actual clothes on. And before I go, I'm bringing with me my own bags just to be environmentally friendly, you know. This is definitely not the first time I'm doing this just to look good on camera, so. <laughs> it definitely is. It's two for a pound for rice? Yeah. Oh. But don't tell anybody. Okay. okay. Oh, lovely. Have a lovely day. All the best. Oh, you're right, love. Cheers. Thanks. All the $70. Want another bag, sweetheart? He packed it all up for me and I felt bad telling him anything. I like double the plastic. I'm destroying the planet. My bag just ripped in front of a group of guys that's staring at me. There they go. I'm in the middle of the street. My phone is against a hummus pot that I just bought. But I'm gonna have to redistribute this because it's too heavy and this bag is about to break again. Meal prep adventures. was less than 40 pounds. The annoying part is walking through town with it. So all of the veg was less than 11 pounds, which is freaking amazing. And then the rest of this, like in total, this is less than 40 pounds. I love that. On to our favorite part, the cooking. So what I always do is that at once I make an oven-based recipe and a hot-based recipe so that in half an hour, you've got yourself eight meals. In terms of portions, because I always make for meals worth of any recipe that I make. Um, what I base it off of is my hands, because it's relative to your body type. I do actually find calorie counting and macro counting like a really good educational tool. If you don't really understand calories, I now feel quite comfortable with them. I did like count them at the very beginning when I started all of this, and I kind of know what it all is. I use my palm to know the protein size, a closed fist to know the carb size, size of your thumb to know the fats, and like cupped hands to know veggies. Honestly, for veggies, I just add in as much as possible. So I'll show you how that applies to these recipes. The salmon veg sweet potato recipe got four salmon fillets, got two big sweet potatoes, because if you're kind of, yep, just slightly, and then a lot of veg. Then for my chickpea curry, lots of veg and fat, so like a fourth of this would be like thumb worth. You just put the whole thing in. Of course, chickpeas are protein and carbs. So I'll be making my salmon first. Okay, in this house, we didn't really stock up well on lots of essential cooking things, so whenever I peel things, I have to just freaking do this. Oh, takes a little bit longer. Funny story, when I first went to uni, I had no idea how to cook absolutely anything. Oatmeal. I could put oatmeal in the microwave, that's about it. So I got my Italian friend to come and make me pasta. I didn't even know how to make pasta. Kind of bad, now I think about it. Because I was too embarrassed to like ask, <laughs> See, now I'm distracted. So I was too embarrassed to ask her to keep coming back and make me more pasta. I rationed out that pasta like there was a freaking apocalypse. Apocalypse, yeah, about to come. You know what, I'm just gonna cut it up like this. I don't even care if there's skin on it at this point. There's no specific size or shape for these babies. Um, if I had a cooking show, they would really not get many views, would it? <laughs> Bitches, on to our next sweet potato. Okay, today was supposed to be a rest day, and I swear this is more of a workout than normal. <laughs> what can you do? I also like to sing. I realize for hygiene reasons, like I should put foil and stuff on it. Okay, fine, I'll do it. This is also fabulous, fry light. So what I've done, because I've finished it many times, I just keep refilling it with olive oil. Fabulous. Mm. Oh, these are slightly uneven. Stab, stab, I'm sorry, vegetarians. Oh. Be 
because when I make my little honey soy mixture, put that in there and it's gonna taste absolutely bloody delicious. I'm gonna stop doing that accent, it's a bit stupid. I'll put the green beans right next to it. Okay, that's one tray. We still need our broccoli and our sweet potato and our manja toot. I don't know how you say that, but. Try to clean as you cook. I never do it, but I always say it. So now, cutting up this broccoli, babe. Guys, I found my last thing. <laughs> Woo! So this we're gonna put on my sweet potato. I'm putting it in. Oh my God. So I went to grab this cup and I have a fucking half eaten apple in it. Okay. The mixture that we're making is literally just honey or syrup that you have. I'm just blopping that in there. Mmm, blop, blop, blop. I'm putting in soy sauce. And we are putting that in as well. I wish I had better like cinematography skills to show you what's happening, but this is what we're working with, my friends. If you wanna put some more, put some more in. No one is stopping you. I'm mixing all of that up. I was gonna use this tiny spoon. No. Deliciousness. Ah. Ah. Baking paper also does the trick. I don't know if it does, but I made that up right now. Great. This is going well. Sprinkle that shit like there's no tomorrow. Nothing's coming out, but let's pretend it is. Okay, so you're meant to like time how long stuff should be in the oven for. I just kind of keep an eye on it and hope it doesn't uh, burn. Probably why I burn a lot of things. Okay, so there it all is. And you can see me and my pathetic selfie stick. Next recipe, our chickpea curry. This one's really easy because you literally just bop, bop, bop it all in. You have got your, how many is this? I thought I had five. Four peppers, five peppers, I knew it. Also using five carrots. I'll chop it up into strips, okay guys? We chop it up into strips. Chop a pop in. I found a much more artistic angle, but now I'm just gonna awkwardly have to squat. Let's go. Oh, I'm not even in it. Yeah, this is a bit, nope. I'm putting you back, guys, I'm sorry. Oh my God, these are so sweet. Market man, marry me. Peppers are done. Next up. I'm gonna heat up some olive oil and add in some garlic granules. That is a bit hot, it is sizzling already. Okay, so I'm adding in my peppers already simply because I'm impatient and I don't follow a recipe. Ah, it's so long. What a bloody mess. There we go. Oh, you guys can't see shit. I'm gonna borrow my flatmate's turmeric. I don't think she watches my videos, so. Ah. Sprinkle it in, it's a bit much, I kind of abused of her friendship. I'm adding in some paprika, that's just because I like it spicy. If you don't like it spicy, don't add it the paprika, my friends. Now I'm adding in my coconut milk. Oh, okay, we also don't have a can opener, so I really was not prepared for this video. Adding the whole thing in, we're keeping all of it. And mixing that in, that's a bit aggressive, I'm sorry. Okay. Next up, I'm adding in my chickpeas. <gasps> this is ridiculous. Okay, so I'm adding in three of these. Fuck, this is gonna suck. Ooh, look at me spitting out those rhymes. Okay. Practice makes perfect, my friends. Okay, the pot doesn't go with the hog. I didn't know that, it's the first time I use it. This is a little bit disastrous. I swear I'm usually a bit better than this. Yeah, that's not cooking. Okay, I'm switching pots. Well then, you learn something new every day. I'm adding a bit of cumin. By a bit, I mean the rest of it. I'm learning as I'm going. Oh God, not it, yep. Okay, baking paper it is. Baking paper has never been in my life before until today, and I've used it twice. It's not burnt though, I mean, tiny bit. But this is actually pretty good for me. Not bad. Delicious. Oh, this gym.
skimming for nothing. Okay, so sweet potato usually takes a bit long, so I'm gonna check it, preferably not with a pen. Let's see the salmon. Ow! Okay, okay. Mm, mm, mm. So while all that is cooking, I will show you my delicious overnight, oh, a bit dangerous, um, oats recipe, which like the base is always the same and then you can add in like peanut butter or chocolate or whatever it is that you want to add in. Creamy deliciousness is what it is. I've got like this lip, that really fucked my head. <laughs> what I add in is one scoop oats, one scoop of vanilla protein powder, and like three or four tablespoons of 0% yogurt, or if you're a vegan, always use um, Alpro. Mmm, you'll see that it's like, it has a really nice like creamy consistency. Okay, so that's the base. Then what I'm gonna do to this one, I wanna make it kind of like peanut buttery flavored. So I've got this powdered peanut butter that I use for my protein. I absolutely love it. I go through like a jar a week. It's probably not that great, but it tastes great. I just love peanut butter. I freaking adore peanut butter. Mmm. If you remember the half-eaten apple from earlier, I'm gonna use it and I'll put it in here. Mm. Okay. This curry is quite watery. So what I'm going to do, sorry I didn't mention this earlier, um, I'm gonna add in some red split lentils, about half a mug. I totally guessed that. Check up on my sweet potatoes. Bop! Keeps happening to me. Okay. I'm gonna add a chicken stock cube to make it taste a little bit better. We improvise a lot in this kitchen. In this kitchen, I mean my brain. Ow! Well, so the way that I package it, this is where your Tupperware comes into play. So these I'm bringing actually to campus with me tomorrow. Put that away. So that's a salmon filet. Come over here, you naughty thing. Okay, Put that in. More of the green deliciousness. I'm just gonna hand, yep. I'm just putting it out of my hands. Who even cares? Sweet potato. So tomorrow's lunch and dinner Oh, bitches. With the rest of all this food is what I put in these big mama Tupperware. So let's do that. These are the ones I bring with me. These are the ones that I just replenish. Bish, bosh, bash, put it back in here. And we good. We have got a shite ton of good food, bam. And so if you wanted to see a full day of eating, little lunchbox. Lunch, my dinner. My breakfast, a couple snacks. Woo! We set for the week, my friends, till Wednesday. Then we do it all again. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I hope it was useful in some way and that it made you feel better if you tend to cut, burn, drop stuff, forget stuff, not measure stuff. It's okay, as long as we're trying. And I'll see you in my next video.